The novel coronavirus mainly attacks the lungs, but new studies found that COVID-19 can also cause heart-related complications, even in people without underlying heart issues. Research from the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention CCDC suggests the death rate for COVID-19 patients with heart disease in mainland China was 10.5% between December 30th, 2019 and February 11th, 2020. A new study published on March 27th in the medical journal JAMA Cardiology found cardiac damage in more than 1 in 5 patients leading to heart failure and death even among those who show no signs of respiratory distress. As more data comes in from China and Italy, as well as the United States, more cardiology experts are coming to believe that COVID-19 virus can affect the heart muscle. According to Dr. Mohamed Majid, an assistant professor at McGovern Medical School at UT Health, not only COVID-19, but other respiratory illnesses such as influenza and SARS can worsen the existing cardiovascular disease and cause new heart problems in healthy people. Dr. Mohamed Majid also said it is likely that even in the absence of previous heart disease, the heart muscle can be affected by coronavirus disease. According to this study in JAMA Cardiology, during most influenza epidemics, more patients die from heart complications than from pneumonia. Viral infections can disrupt blood flow to the heart, causing irregular heartbeats and heart failure. Dr. Robert Bono, a professor of cardiology at the Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, said the damage observed in COVID-19 patients could be from the virus directly infecting the heart muscle. Initial research suggests the coronavirus attaches itself to certain receptors in the lungs, and those same receptors are found in the heart muscles as well. Dr. Aaron Michaels, the Associate Director of Preventative Cardiology at John Hopkins School of Medicine, explains both heart and lung cells are covered with angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, surface proteins. But this enzyme is a double-edged sword. On one hand, the ACE2 molecule normally serves a protective function. On the other hand, it acts as a gateway for the virus to enter the cell and replicate. The novel coronavirus might also indirectly damage the heart. The body, in its attempt to eradicate the virus, may mobilize a storm of immune cells called cytokine storm that attacks the heart. Cardiac experts believe patients with underlying heart disease are at higher risk of developing severe symptoms of COVID-19 and have a higher risk of mortality. Two studies published by China in March looked at 416 hospitalized COVID-19 patients. The researchers found that 19% showed signs of heart damage and 51% of those with heart damage died versus 4.5% who did not have it. More research needs to be done. But new studies could change the way doctors and hospitals need to think about patients, particularly in the early stages of the illness and what medication should be taken.